On January 11, 2025, the Turkish Defense Industry Agency announced the successful launch of the Milgem Istif class frigates Izmir and Izmit into the seas. These advanced warships represent a significant leap forward in Turkey's naval capabilities, aligning with the nation's broader maritime strategy and the evolving demands of modern warfare. Developed under the auspices of the Milgem program, the Istif class frigates mark the continuation of Turkey's commitment to indigenous defense production, building on the legacy of the Ada class corvettes and the earlier TCG Istanbul. The Istif class frigates are designed to perform a wide range of operations, from littoral zone defense to blue water engagements. Weighing between 3,000 and 3,300 tons, and measuring 113 meters in length, these frigates embody stealth and survivability. Their sleek hull minimizes radar cross-sections, while advanced composite materials reduce their infrared signatures, enabling them to operate effectively in high-threat environments. A Kodak propulsion system combining gas turbines and diesel engines grants the frigates a top speed of 29 knots and a remarkable operational range of 6,000 nautical miles, ensuring global reach for sustained missions. This versatility positions Izmir and Izmit as ideal platforms for multi-role operations, including anti-air, anti-surface, and anti-submarine warfare. Their state-of-the-art sensor suite includes the indigenous Chafrad phased array radar system, enabling the detection and tracking of multiple targets simultaneously. This is complemented by advanced hull-mounted and towed array sonar systems, enhancing their anti-submarine capabilities. At the heart of their combat systems is the Genesis Combat Management System, developed by Havelsan, which seamlessly integrates all onboard weaponry, sensors, and communication networks. Armament on the ISTIF class is both extensive and cutting edge. The ships feature the MK-41 Vertical Launch System, VLS, for surface-to-air missiles, including the ESSM and the future integration of Turkey's HISAR class systems. They are armed with the Atmaka anti-ship missile, a domestically developed weapon with extended range and precision, along with torpedo launchers, rocket launch depth charges, and a 76mm OTO Malara gun. Close-in defense is bolstered by advanced CIB systems, ensuring robust protection against aerial and missile threats. The frigates also emphasize aerial integration, with a flight deck and hangar capable of supporting helicopters like the S-70B Seahawk and UAVs, greatly expanding their reconnaissance, surveillance, and operational reach. These features allow them to adapt to a wide array of missions, including anti-piracy operations, escort duties, and even humanitarian relief efforts. Turkey's maritime doctrine, known as Mavi Vatan, or Blue Homeland, underscores its intent to assert sovereignty over expansive territorial waters in the Aegean Sea, Eastern Mediterranean, and Black Sea. The doctrine has taken on greater strategic importance amid disputes with Greece and Cyprus over overlapping exclusive economic zones and continental shelves, particularly in resource-rich areas. The Istif-class frigates are uniquely positioned to enforce this doctrine. Their capabilities make them suitable for patrolling contested waters, deterring potential adversaries, and safeguarding Turkey's maritime rights. Their extended operational range and robust weapon systems allow them to act as a formidable presence in these strategic regions, sending a clear signal to both regional rivals and global powers. In addition to asserting Turkey's maritime sovereignty, the frigates' advanced electronic warfare capabilities and modular mission configurations make them well-suited to respond to emerging asymmetric threats, such as terrorism, smuggling, and piracy. Their ability to deploy UAVs further enhances situational awareness in crowded or contested waters, ensuring Turkey maintains a technological edge in monitoring and responding to potential security challenges. The Istif class represents a natural evolution from the earlier Ada class corvettes, which were primarily designed for anti-submarine warfare and coastal defense. While the Ada class was limited in terms of armament and operational range, 
The ISTF-class frigates have addressed these limitations by incorporating features that enable multi-role functionality in both littoral and open sea environments. One significant enhancement is the inclusion of the MK-41 VLS, which allows the ISTF class to engage a broader range of threats, including advanced air and missile threats. The integration of the Atmaka missile, along with the capacity for larger ammunition stores, ensures that these frigates can deliver substantial firepower in surface engagements. Furthermore, the improved propulsion system offers greater speed and endurance, making the ISTIF class a more versatile platform for sustained operations in distant waters. In the regional context, the ISTIF class frigates place Turkey on competitive footing with other naval powers in the Eastern Mediterranean and surrounding seas. Greece, a key regional rival, operates Hydro-class frigates, which, while effective, are aging platforms based on German Miko 200 designs. The Hydro-class frigates lack the advanced stealth features and indigenous systems present in the ISTIF class, giving Turkey a technological edge. Italy's Frem frigates are another noteworthy comparison. These highly advanced warships are known for their versatility and technological sophistication, but they come at a significantly higher cost. By focusing on indigenous development, Turkey has managed to produce the ISTIF class at a fraction of the cost of comparable imported systems, ensuring both affordability and strategic autonomy. Russia, another regional actor with a strong naval presence in the Black Sea, operates advanced frigates such as the Admiral Gorshkov class. While these warships boast impressive capabilities, they are heavily reliant on older Soviet doctrines, which prioritize offensive firepower over the multi-role adaptability seen in the ISTIF class. This adaptability could prove decisive in modern, unpredictable maritime conflicts. One of the most significant achievements of the ISTIF class frigates is the emphasis on indigenous technology. Approximately 75% of the systems on these frigates are of local origin, reflecting Turkey's growing self-reliance in defense production. This reduces dependency on foreign suppliers, which can be a critical factor during times of geopolitical tension or conflict. The development of systems like the Safrad radar, Atmaka missile, and Genesis combat management system showcases Turkey's ability to design and integrate cutting-edge technologies into its naval platforms. This not only strengthens the Turkish Navy, but also positions Turkey as a potential exporter of advanced naval systems. Countries in the Middle East, Central Asia, and even Africa could become prospective customers for variants of the ISTIF class or its subsystems, enhancing Turkey's influence in global arms markets. The ISTIF class frigates are more than just warships. They are symbols of Turkey's ambition to establish itself as a dominant maritime power. Their deployment will play a key role in shaping the balance of power in the Eastern Mediterranean, the Aegean, and the Black Sea. Beyond regional waters, the frigate's extended range and operational versatility make them suitable for international missions, such as NATO deployments, peacekeeping operations, and contributions to multinational task forces. Looking to the future, the experience gained through the design and construction of the ISTIF class will inform the development of Turkey's next generation warships, including the TF-2000 class destroyers. These larger and more capable platforms are expected to feature even greater firepower, enhanced stealth, and advanced sensor systems further solidifying Turkey's position as a naval power. The launch of Izmir and Izmit marks a significant milestone in Turkey's maritime journey. These Istif-class frigates are not only a testament to Turkey's growing technological prowess, but also a critical asset in safeguarding the nation's interests in an increasingly contested maritime environment. By combining advanced indigenous systems with versatile operational capabilities, these frigates embody the future of modern naval warfare. As they join the fleet, 
Izmir and Izmit will undoubtedly serve as powerful tools for deterrence, diplomacy, and defense, reshaping Turkey's naval posture and enhancing its ability to navigate the complex geopolitical waters of the 21st century.